we're going to add the femur to our discussion. So this is the largest bone of the body. All right, and again, it creates a nice ball and socket joint. Fits into the acetabulum of the coxal bone. All right, so let's put that aside. So here it is. All right. So it follows the format of the humerus um, in that similar names that that describe the structures. This is the head. This is the neck. And then we have two projections coming off. And then we come down onto the, the shaft or the diaphysis. All right? On the humerus, we had the greater and lesser tubercle. And there was a little groove in between. On the femur, we have the greater and lesser trochanter. It's called the trochanter with a ridge of bone in between, all right? So the humerus had two bumps with a depression. The femur has two bumps with a ridge. This is the intertrochanteric ridge, intertrochanteric ridge connecting the tip. And again, these are points for muscle attachment. So you have the head, the neck, greater, lesser trochanter, intertrochanteric ridge, and the diaphysis or the shaft. Huh? There's a little depression here. I don't know if I have it in your, in your list, but the fovea capitis, the fovea capitis, uh, a ligament attaches from here to here, a ligament within, an intracapsular ligament within the joint that attaches this to this, locks them together, okay, fovea capitis. Running down the shaft, um, the anterior aspect of the shaft is nice and smooth. The back has a, a ridge. Again, do I have linear aspera mm -hmm. labeled? So there's your ridge, your linear aspera. On the back. Yes, on the posterior aspect. And then we come to where the knee, the joint surfaces for the knee will be. So if we bring out the tibia, we show you, voila, there's your knee joint. Okay. There are two joint surfaces condyles that articulate with two joint surfaces condyles. Now, the condyles are simply named based on their location. There's a medial condyle and a lateral condyle. The head is always medial, pointing towards the midline, medial, 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 medial condyle, lateral condyle, slash femur. Medial condyle. Medial is on the same side as the head. Correct. And lateral condyle. Intercondylar groove or fossa. The space between. It is the home also of two intracapsular ligaments. Okay, we'll look at that when we bring this into play. On the humerus, we saw condyles, trochlear capitulum, and then we saw a bone called epicondyle. And here is the medial epicondyle next to the medial condyle, and the lateral epicondyle next to the lateral condyle. Again, attachment points for muscles. If we flip it to show you the anterior aspect, there is a surface here there's a joint surface, a condyle, a joint surface covered in cartilage. That's where the patella sits. Can you hand me the patella in that box, please? Huh? All right. And there it is. This is how it would sit, right here. That's where the patella sits. So there's a joint surface there, the patella surface. Okay. The kneecap. 